A man who was body slammed by a sheriff's deputy now wants that deputy and the sheriff from Paulding County to pay up. 11 Alive's Molly Oak is in studio with us tonight. So Molly, that man has filed a federal lawsuit and he did it last week. And we've spoke with both of his attorneys about an hour ago. They say his clavicle was broken along with other injuries in that incident last year. Now, along with that federal suit that you mentioned today, a new motion was just filed trying to clear his name of the criminal charge he faces. Filed in federal court on Friday, the lawsuit says on March 4th of last year, this man, Tyler Canaris, was walking to work when he was stopped and arrested by now former Paulding County Deputy Michael McMaster. Documents say McMaster thought Canaris was breaking into cars. Suspicion that, as I said, was flimsy, unfounded, uh, not supported by any reasonable facts. This is what Sam Starks, Canaris' attorney in the civil lawsuit, says happened next. Uh, Deputy McMaster uh, illegally detained him and violently threw Tyler to the ground, causing serious physical injuries to Tyler. The lawsuit says Canaris' medical bills since then amount for more than $73,000. He's suing for damages for physical and mental pain and suffering, loss of enjoyment of life, plus emotional distress. Stark says to add insult to injury, Canaris is charged with obstruction from this incident, accused of not obeying the deputy. I mean, he basically jumped down on him and slammed Tyler Canaris to the ground. But what's even more outrageous is the fact that the solicitor charged him and she ratified that conduct. That's where defense attorney Taurus Butterfield comes in. Today, he filed a motion to get the charge dismissed, saying the former deputy's actions were excessive and without probable cause or reasonable suspicion. This, this is a clear case of excessive force in pr police brutality. The lawsuit alleges the former deputy has problems with anger management and accuses the sheriff of taking nearly a year to address the issues. They, they knew or should have known that McMaster did not have the right temperament to, to be a patrol officer. We reached out to the sheriff's office for a response to the lawsuit filed on Friday. It says since this is pending litigation, it can't comment. Now, state records show McMaster was fired from the sheriff's office in February of this year and don't show any law enforcement jobs in Georgia since then. I also spoke with the GVI. It told me that conducted an officer involved use of force investigation and gave that investigation to the DA's office in May for review.